Hi there. Now for this question, we're asked to find the integral of x squared e to the x with respect to x for 5 marks, and then go on to hence find the exact value of the integral of x squared e to the power x dx between the limits 0 and 1 for 2 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll run slowly through the work solution, or you might want to fast forward. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, for the first part, we need to integrate then x squared e to the power x with respect to x. And what we've got here is a product of two functions of x being multiplied together that we can't really expand. And whenever you get something like this, we generally use integration by parts. So integration by parts then, it's given by this formula here. You should be familiar with this, generally see it in your formula book. And I've got tutorials on how to uh, apply this. But uh, essentially, we nominate one of the parts here to be u. And in this example, it's going to be the x squared. So I'm going to have that as u. And this second part here is dv dx. So what we do then, it's equal to u. So that's going to be x squared. Good idea to put these parts in brackets when you do questions like this. So it's x squared and then v, v being the integral of this part here. So we integrate that part and the integral of e to the x is e to the power x. And then we subtract the integral of v. v is the part we just integrated, which is this part now. So we put that down, e to the power x and we multiply it by du dx. We differentiate the part we called u. So differentiating x squared gives us 2x. And this is all integrated with respect to x. Next up, I just want to tidy this up. So we've got x squared e to the x. I don't really need the brackets around that anymore. And for the integral, I'm just going to pull out the constant, so we got minus 2, then we've got the integral, and I'm going to switch this round to x e to the power x, and we're integrating all of that with respect to x. And what I've got here is again another integration by parts. So I'm going to nominate the x then as u, and e to the power x as dv by dx. So when it comes to working this one out, then we're just going to have the first term here, which we'll copy down, x squared e to the power x. And then we've got minus 2, and then I'm going to put a square bracket, okay, up here. So we'll just put that in, okay, like that. And doing integration by parts now, we have u, first of all. So just copy down the x. Put that in brackets. Then v, which comes from integrating the second part there. So the integral of e to the x is e to the x. Then it's minus the integral of what we just integrated, this part here. So it's e to the x. And we multiply it by the differential of this part, which is going to be 1. And this is all integrated with respect to x. And we now just finish off the square bracket. So we've got that there. Just a question of cleaning this up now. OK, so first term is x squared e to the power x. I'm going to expand the bracket so we get minus 2x e to the x. Minus 2x e to the x. And for this one, we're going to have minus 2 times this negative. It's going to give me a positive value. And it's going to be 2 times the integral and in here, we've just got the integral of e to the power x with respect to x. And finally, we've got x squared e to the x then, this term minus 2x e to the power x. And then the integral of e to the x is e to the x. So we just end up with 2 e to the x and not forgetting that constant of integration, which I'll call c. 
Okay, well that's part A. Now that we've got that, it says hence, hence find the exact value of the integral between the limits 0 and 1 now. So if we just copy what we've got here down first of all, we're integrating them from 0 to 1, x squared, e to the power x with respect to x. And we've seen then that it's this answer here. So we don't need the um, plus c, so we we'll just put in x squared e to the power x minus 2x e to the power x plus 2e to the x. And then if we just square off those brackets, the limits are between 0 and 1. So if we substitute 1 in first of all, we're going to get 1 times e to the power 1, so that's just going to be e. And then for the second term, be minus 2 times 1 times e to the power 1. Well, that's going to be minus 2e. And lastly here, when x is 1, that just gives us 2e, so plus 2e. Now when we put 0 through, this term is going to be 0, this term is going to be 0. e to the power 0 is 1, so it would end up with 2. But remember, we're subtracting those, so it's going to be minus 2. So what we've got then is e minus 2e plus 2e. Well, that just gives us e. And then we've got the minus 2. So it's e minus 2 then.